Hey everybody, Chris Bober here and I'm the owner of the Bober Academy where our mission is to train and develop superior offensive linemen to dominate in the, on the gridiron. And in 2022, we are building linemen up from the ground up. So starting in January, we're focusing on our relationship with our feet in the ground. So you saw our video with Nolan at Midwest Movement about how the feet work. You saw my previous video on why it's important to be connected to the ground. Now I'm going to give you some very practical drills that you can do at home in this off season to get better and start building yourself all the way to this coming up football season. So I'm standing here today at one gym here in Elkhorn. They're a great partner of ours. But today I'm going to show you the drills that you can be doing this January and early in the year. And what you're going to do is you're going to do them in your socks. And you might ask me, why the heck are you doing football drills in your socks? Because you play with cleats on. Well, the re there's two reasons. Number one is I want to strengthen all those muscles in my feet to get used to this, not having the support of tape when you tape your ankles and all the big heavy shoes or what Nolan calls foot, foot coffins, right? This is gonna strengthen those little muscles that'll help prevent injuries. So the second reason I'm doing it is because I want you, when you do these drills, to really, really have a relationship with your feet in the ground. And with your, with your shoes off, you can get that, what I call proprioception your feeling of where you are and how your feet are connected to the ground. So then when you put cleats back on, you get that same feeling. So um, when I teach football, the first thing I always teach is how to play in a football position. And of course, that means you're going to play with your feet on the ground, with your toes and heels connected. On the inside thirds of your feet, you're going to have enough width for stability and be able to have the ability to go either way. And of course, you're going to flex your ankles and bend your knees so you can strike low to high. So the first drill that I'm going to teach is what's called the duck demeanor. Again, you're not going to do these drills full speed because you got your you don't have shoes on. So all you're going to do is you're going to get down in a football position and then you're going to work on going right and left. You're going to work on going back. You're going to work on going forward and you're going to work on keeping your feet on the ground, keeping that relationship with your feet. You can do that for maybe 10, 15 seconds, take a break, do it several times. The next thing you really want to work on is work on getting down into your stance, okay? So a stance is just a football position that's coiled. And I like to teach a stance with a little bit of a stagger. I'm gonna basically take my weight straight down. I got my insoles connected, my toes and my heels connected to the ground. And I'm just gonna put my, my hand on the ground like this. Okay, I'm gonna get used to this stance right here. Then while I'm in this stance, I'm gonna work on my get-offs, how to get off the ball efficiently. In order to do that, you're gonna pre-shift and lock in your weight on the push leg, right? So if I'm stepping right, I'm in my stance, I'm gonna put my weight to the ground, you can see that, boom. So when I step forward, I have a very efficient step. So you're gonna work on just get-offs. Going forward like that, you're gonna be here, go left, and really work on getting off the ball. But as you can see, my feet are connected the whole time with the ground. I really feel that relationship. From there, you're gonna go through your normal progression. You're gonna do tight zone right, tight zone left. You're gonna do wide zone right, wide zone left, and you're gonna work on getting out and pulling, right? These are all the drills that I've taught you before, but you're gonna do them in your socks so you really get a feeling of how your feet are connected to the ground. Next, you're gonna switch over to pass protection, right? All you're gonna do, you're gonna get down in a good stance and you're just gonna work on a pass set, okay? What you're really trying to do of course, you're going to want to play with technique, but you really want to work on keeping your feet on the ground the whole time. In those movements, I can feel my feet and how they're connected to the ground. I have power so that when we come back next month, we're going to put shoes on. You're going to really feel connected with the ground. So wherever you're finding this video, I'm going to give you a little list of drills to do, and you're going to do them in your socks, do them in your basement, right? While you're watching TV, after you do your homework, every night do these drills, and I promise you that they will make you better. They will lay a foundation of being a great offensive lineman, and it starts here in January. So wherever you're finding this, look below, click on the link. There'll be a nice list of drills to do in your socks, and I guarantee you they're going to make you a better lineman. So get out there, do those drills, and we'll see you next time.